Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo where we apparently have a pile of upside down food just laying in the middle of the yard. Uh, I'm not going to complain. Oh, what's going on over there? Oh my gosh, what's going on over here? Oh, that's so cool to see our zebra interact like that. Oh, that's amazing. But I am not going to complain about having a food tossed basically everywhere because whatever it takes to take care of our animals, we must do it. And welcome back to the good one. Oh, one of the zebras is playing with that toy. I love it. Oh my gosh. Welcome back to the Goodwin House Zoo. We have inherited it and are doing our best to take care of the animals here so that we can learn all of the nuances of how to run a proper zoo for when we get to run our own franchise zoo in Planet Zoo. Uh, I've learned so much already about what you can do in Planet Zoo just from being able to like, Oh, my baby giraffe frolic, how are you, my boy? <gasps> Yes, Tongleb. Oh, my little heart. I'm so happy to see you. Also, one of you keepers needs to, like, fill this up. We need to keep the food coming for everybody. Come on, come on. But we are just... Oh, there goes another toy. That is so fun to see that enrichment with our zebras. We are learning so much, and I am so grateful that we have the beta, because we did unfortunately lose a couple animals last time. It really broke my heart. We lost a zebra foal, and we lost one of the baby warthogs. Those were not in the plans to lose, so I was very, very sad. But I think it's because our keepers... Oh, thank you, little giraffe. <laughs> I think it's because we need to be training our staff a little bit better. We have, uh, whoops, I almost hired another keeper. We have multiple keepers, like we have 20 keepers now. A lot of them are really tired, so I wonder if they just don't have, like, enough of a... Maybe they need their own work zones. Like, can I assign this one to keepers the lemur zone to, like, help out with the, the lemurs? I think we need to provide them with more places to rest, more places to get food, and then efficient workload. What is that? Oh, interesting. I wonder what efficient low workload. Interesting. So our lion and bear keepers feel like they have it easy now. Yeah, I think we need to make sure that they have enough energy to do what they need to do. And then a lot of them are not highly trained. Like, look at this. A lot of them are just like level one trainees. And I think if we train them up, then they will be taking better care of our animals. So like, let's come over at like Majori here. Let's actually go ahead and have her. Like, can I create a work zone? <gasps> That's so cool. Okay, where's my lemurs? Because they're a constant problem child. Are these my lemurs? Those are my warthogs. So let's select the warthogs. And then let's select, are these my lemurs? These are my lemurs. So we're gonna do warthogs and lemurs and peafowl. And we're gonna let her have this zone, work zone 29. And we're gonna call this uh, lemur, muddy lemur central keeper. Muddy Lemur Central. So we know we're working with the center area with the peafowl, and we are also working with the lemurs, and we are working with the warthogs here. So I'm going to assign her to that zone. And did that work? So then I come over to staff, and I want to come over to her. So Majori. Yeah, look, she's at Muddy Lemur Central now. That is so cool. And then we can go ahead, let's train her. Because I want to make sure that we take good care of our lemurs. Because, again, they've been a, a consistent source of, like, uh, problems for our... Okay, so we're training her. They've been, it's been a consistent source of trouble. And if my keepers are spending the majority of their time traveling, that's not a good thing because they should be able to just get to where they need to go and back to the habitats they should be at just fine. So we probably don't want to have free roaming keepers too often. Uh, that probably is not a good thing. You want to keep them kind of assigned to a specific area. <gasps> the warthogs need food. Get a keeper in this habitat. Call the keeper. How close are they to a keeper station? Like there's one literally right here. So hopefully that's close enough to a keeper station. What about the lemurs? The lemurs do not have food. Like I need them fed. No joke do I ever need them fed. Can And I already have this food enrichment box. It hasn't had any uses though. So I wonder if it just doesn't work. 
Well, use uses last month and it's missing a few bugs. So maybe that'll work. All right, is this Majori? No, this is Merli. Let's go ahead and start training her. I don't care if she wants a higher salary. I want her to just like feed my lemurs. Keep her, because I'm really worried about the lemurs. We've had a lot of issues with them. So keeper zebras and Leo. Keepers of wolves, muddy lemur central place. Like literally all I want her doing, going to the keeper hut, finally. <gasps> Wait, why is she coming? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that's really far away. Um, No, it's not, no, it's not, no, it's not. We're good, okay. So let's come down in here. Oh my gosh, I can actually see her prepare food. We are not gonna have any more animal deaths on my watch, holy cow. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh, you guys, who wants to be this new keeper? Who wants to be Merle? We're going to need to give her a new name. And we're actually going to name her Isla Fern. After Isla Fern, who left such a sweet comment with a little heart eye, or like little heart eye emoji. Look at that. She pushed the food down into the spot she wanted. Isla Fern. You're going to rescue our little lemurs, Isla. Look at that. And now she's got a bucket of food. Okay, so I think we've been having so many issues with feeding our animals because I either don't have the resources my staff need close enough to them, or I've had my staff too far away from the lemurs. So, all right, she's going into the lemur habitat with the food now. She's running. Oh, she's running. All right, is this gonna work? Please feed my lemurs before they die. I'm so worried about them dying. Okay, she's adding in more treats. That's that's fine. That's good. You're gonna put the rest of the food over here, right? Now she's cleaning the habitat. Okay, I think we're training her. She should just work on feeding. Come on. All right, we really need some food for these lemurs. Oh my gosh, they're starving, even though I literally just put down some things. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, this is definitely... Okay. I can't work anymore. I need to rest. Dang it! And this man is just... Is is he... He's not paid enough, Roger? Okay, so now we need to pay him enough and that'll make him happy. Time spent traveling. Roger, where do you go? Are you just all over the place? Oh, so he needs a work zone too. This is important, guys. These are the kinds of details that I glazed over and my excitement over, you know, just, oh, look at all the little baby animals. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. But this is really, really important. We need him on Muddy Lemur Central too. He's capable. We can train him. Let's just go ahead and crank up his pay so that hopefully he will just feed our lemurs. That's all I need, and he needs a rest. So wherever he is going, he's going to habitat now. I suppose the view from the common warthog, oh, the, he's going to the common warthog area now. Feed these guys too! Like everybody needs some food. Do I have, a, the keeper hut is literally right here. Somebody has food. Where are you going? Precious person with the food. What is on your face? I think she just ate something. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness, somebody's feeding my poor, poor piggies. I was so worried that they were just gonna like kill over any second now. We've got some food being added in here. But what about in here? Come on, go to both. Oh, be still my heart. Genevieve, you're amazing. All right, we're gonna have, uh, let's see. This Genevieve is going to be renamed to uh, Viv Ilion. Oh, where, where'd it go? Vivillion, at the request of Dog Lover 2004, uh, Vivillion from Pokemon X and Y. That is so adorable. Vivillion, there we go. And she's she is a hero. She is an absolute hero because she finally fed my little warthogs. We will start training her as well. Is she assigned to a specific area? No specific work zone. I'm gonna have her on this central area until we feed my poor lemurs. I'm so worried about them. <gasps> no, one of my lemurs has died? Oh, this is terrible. They're just curling up and dying of starvation. Feed them. 
Is it because I put this thing in here? Like, fine, get rid of it. Get rid of it and come come feed my lemurs. <gasps> Our lions have just given birth. What? What? Oh my gosh, we have Dada the male lion. Oh my goodness. Even at these moments where I have to harangue my staff left and right, we have these amazing events happening of the birth of new babies. We will get this right eventually. This is why we're here, in the training grounds, in the thick of it, trying to figure out how to tell our staff to take care of these little ones. And look at this. What a rewarding sight this is with our little guy. So we're actually going to rename Dada here to Black Knight. Uh, uh, let's go with Knight, actually. After DJ Black Knight. And I'm so glad you're enjoying the series, DJ Black Knight. And I'm so glad to have a little baby boy lion cub that we can name you after. That is so cool. He's so young. How's the little girl that we had in here? Is she grown up yet? <gasps> she has not. Wait, no, no. Is this a new baby too? <gasps> she had two? How many lions do I have now? Oh my gosh, I have five? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so exciting. I could have sworn I renamed these lions, but I did not. So we're gonna do it in a big brunch like, or in a big bunch like this. And Sh uh, Sharella, you had a great name of going, uh, names for moon, winter, and fire. And I think we're gonna go ahead and we will name this little boy. We'll give him a new name of Let's see, how about flame for fire? <gasps> Our Pival is pregnant! Oh, that's so exciting! And then we'll name his sister Winter. What do you guys think about that? So kind of fire, like flame and winter. There we go. Night, flame, and then, oh no, this is the, okay, so we just had two baby boys born. And then we have, oh my gosh, Alika. And then who else? There, there's one more female in here now. It's Elsa. We did rename Elsa, and she's already an adult. That's amazing. Is she the one who just gave birth? I think she's the one who just gave birth. Let's see. Let's see. Our grizzly bear has just given birth. Yes, it was Elsa who just gave birth. <gasps> so Alika actually hasn't given birth yet, and we'll go ahead and rename her to uh, Winter, just to see what happens. Oh, that's so cool. And now I'm so glad that I found out like, oh, here's how I could look at all of our lions. So let's go look at the male. He's swimming with his cubs. And then name something Madison from Gotcha Bee Fly. I am very happy to name something Madison. And I've actually heard, we'll go with, uh, how about we go with Mad? Uh, Madison for a boy name. I've heard Madison as a boy name too, believe it or not. Look at him. What do you think about that, daddy? Like you have become a father. You have little squeaky lion cublets following you around and keepers who actually feed their charges. Oh gosh, we're not done with our leaping lemur situation we have going on. Look at that big old lion tongue. Look at the cubs swim. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, I think we may have finally fixed what was going on in the lemurs too by reassigning some of the staff. No, we haven't. Why will they not feed our lemurs? Like, we've put all of them into crates out of the blue for who knows what reason. I think it's a bug from the beta. And if this continues, going to Keeper Hut. All right, he's going to a really far away Keeper Hut, which is not ideal, pretty sure. All right, is that where he's headed? Yeah, this guy is headed off to a really far away keeper hut. Let's see if he's actually going to food stations refill, refilled last year. He's not refilled any of the stations, but he's inspected 13 habitats. All right, let's see what he does. Because if he will, where are you going? Oh, he's going in the other side of the keeper hut. Is he going to feed my lemurs? Things are getting dire. If somebody doesn't feed my lemurs soon, maybe I should add an extension onto the other lemur building. All right, so he is making them food right now. Yeah, look at that. All right, friend. 
I'm gonna give you a name too. And we're actually gonna name you Kingsler after Gigi Kingsler, who says that the people look a little weird in the game. And they're supposed to be a little bit a little bit different. So this is Kinsler. There we go. And then two in lockdown for a long time. I know, I know. Is he going the right place? Oh, this is so dramatic, like watching from above. Like, oh, here we are. Is he going to save them? Will we finally have food for our freaking lemurs? I hope so. Oh, do I ever hope so. All right, he's going, guys. I, I really, wow. Like, I thought it was kind of like the keepers would just be smart about what habitats to use. They're kind of not. So you really have to assign them yourself. In he goes. He's got food. If he refills this again, I'm just getting rid of it. He is really just refilling this again, isn't he? No, Kinsler! You were supposed to be our hero! Come on, come fill this one up! Come on, we still have no food here! This is the only way that they are surviving, is just off stuff in their forge box feeder. I just don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, I just don't know how to help them. Feed them! We, we've called a vet, and we've also called Pavilion. She's inspecting the habitat. Feed them! Where are you going now? Oh, she's not getting paid what she's worth. That's not a good thing. All right, let's crank up the pay. You guys should not have... Where are you going? Ugh. Okay. All right, we're learning the very, very important importance of figuring out how to get people to actually <laughs> take care of our other animals uh, by just like throwing our head against a wall here. Oh, and now all of them are in crates again. Unbox all animals. I wonder if there's something wrong with this exhibit, if it's just built incorrectly. And that's what's freaking everything out. I don't think so, because it counts as a full habitat. And here we have another keeper inspecting the habitat. Exhibit food. We're missing some food, so you're going to go make it, right? She's refilled a food station before. Oh, yeah, why? <gasps> Somebody feed my lemurs! Okay, we're gonna chalk this up to it being a game glitch because we're only having that problem with these guys and hopefully they will survive off of the food they have in the forage areas. And Winter the Lion is now pregnant! We have even more lion babies incoming! Holy cow! Out of curiosity, if we grab a little lion cub, like Flame here, and we were like, oh, we're gonna trade him. We're not gonna trade him, but I'm just curious. And we go into animal trading and we look at little flame we cannot release him to the wild because i think he has to be an adult but we could sell him for seven thousand dollars what what that's so interesting okay i just wanted to test that to see like what would happen and our vet research is complete Oh, this is so thrilling. We have discovered four items for the ringtail lemur and the plains zebra. We have now completed the ringtail lemur. That makes me super duper happy. Hopefully they will figure out how to take better care of them. Oh my gosh. And then we've also completed it for the plains zebra. Where's my plains zebra? Ringtail lemur, plains zebra. Wonderful! Oh, I'm so happy, you guys. Let's assign our vets to something different. How about the African elephant? And then, actually, our titan beetle passed away, so we can't do any more research on him, but we can have a whole bunch of these diseases researched by our vets as well. That sounds like a really smart thing to do. Um, let's actually research our yellow anaconda, because I would love to be able to get all of the yellow anaconda information, too. And maybe we should look into getting a new type of animal. Is there something new that I don't have on the trading center? Let's see. Ostrich, ringtail lemur, snow leopard. We could get a male snow leopard. Um, once we have, we have nine conservation credits and you need 779. Oh my gosh. It'll be a while before we can get more snow leopards. <laughs> oh, gracious me. Um, another reticulated giraffe. What else do we have here? Zebras, warthogs. So it looks like we can only adopt the animals that are already 
in our zoo. But I'm getting a lot of great experience to be able to understand how this will work for the animals who will be in our franchise zoo too. So this is exciting, you guys. I'm finally really starting to like understand a lot of the nuances that are to this as well. It is not nearly as easy as I thought it would be. It's so much more complex in such awesome ways. Did our ostriches grow up? <gasps> our ostriches all grew up. Oh my gosh, Malaya. I can't wait, Araya, Tallahassee, you're all grown up now. I can't wait until we actually are able, and there's guys, the alpha female, so cool. I can't wait till we have the stud book so I can keep track of how old all of my ostriches are and like how they're, re well, how they're related to each other. Oh, this is so great. This is so great. But all right, so we also have had the birth of several other animals that I haven't even had a chance to see yet. <gasps> we have... Asya, our zebra has given birth. Oh my gosh, she's got a baby roaming around. It, it's um, Tumanini or Tumaini. I love that name. Beautiful, brand new baby zebra foal. I love this. This is fantastic. All right, guys, I'm still adoring learning about how to work with Planet Zoo and how to take good care. Our poison dart, I didn't even know we had poison dart frogs. I didn't even know we had poison dart frogs. Oh, it looks like we've got, like, Portia here is already watching them. Content with your paycheck? I can make you... Oh, he's a master. He is a master at taking care of these exhibits. Look at this guy. He is on it. We're not going to have any unhealthy poison dart frogs on this watch. I have one named Artuio. Just one. Where is he? Can I find him? Hello? Is that you? Oh my gosh, that's him. Do you see how tiny he is? <gasps> that's so freaking cute. That is so freaking cute. All right, we're gonna have some fun exploring more of what this wonderful, amazing, fantastic game has to offer. And I really truly am getting ready to dip my toes into a Z franchise mode. Keep in mind, these are not all of the animals that you can have. There are gonna be over 50 animals that are will be added into the full release of Planet Zoo. Coming out, double check, don't quote me on this, but I believe November 5th. And we are going to build up Zudesia, and we are going to watch it grow, watch it thrive, try to educate the people who come to it, and build a wonderful zoo that will hopefully last for many, many months, maybe even years, like our zoo crafting series. As we get closer and closer to the full release, oh my gosh, there's baby bears! This is awesome. All right, guys, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!